10 lies most people believe about our tree. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Let me fix this. All right. Now we can play it. 10 lies most people believe about archery. Number one, you're only as good as your equipment. This lie is prevalent not only in archery, but with almost anything. The truth is that a good tool is going to make you more of what you already are. If you miss the target with a $50 bow, you're likely gonna miss the target with a $1,200 bow. Now, good equipment can help by making it more comfortable and enjoyable, but equipment is only as good as the archer. Number two, the higher poundage you pull, the manlier you are. You better believe you're not gonna see me at the range with the 35 pound bow because I can pull 80 pounds, even though 35 pounds is what I'm most accurate with and it's what I'm most comfortable and it's the most fun and I can shoot longer because my arm's not dead after three shots. Is this just me? Are there other people that are can doing that? Can you really pull 80 pounds? I said 60 because I can pull 80 pounds. Pulling a heavy poundage doesn't make you more manly or womanly. It doesn't even mean that you're strong. There's lots of strong people that can't even pull a bow back. Pulling heavy poundage just means that you can pull back a heavy poundage. It has nothing to do with your identity. Number three, I'm successful when I meet someone else's standard. If you shoot archery this way, you will probably never be content. And so many people get into archery and judge themselves based on someone else's definition of a success. So what's your worthy ideal when it comes to archery? What are you moving towards? Is it to relax and have fun? To build community? To put meat on the table? To win archery tournaments? Decide what it is for you and progressively move towards it and that's success. Don't let someone else define it. Number four, archery is a science or an art. Have you ever seen a dude in a lab coat painting? Neither have I. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm funny. All right. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Some people like to approach archery this way. First, they see someone shoot a bow in a movie and they think it's super cool. So then they go and watch 11 videos on which bow to buy. And then they do a bunch of research on what arrows to get, arrow spine, a bunch of research on the best bow string, have versus glove, how to aim, and instinctive's dumb, so and, and gap or string walking, build. and on and on and on, and they haven't even shot their bow. The whole purpose of these variables is so that you can be more successful at archery, which involves shooting your bow. There are so many variables that if you treat it like a science, it's not fun for most people. I'm not saying not to do research, but remember the purpose of the research. To shoot your bow, archery is a science, but you have to treat it like an art. Ask yourself the question, how does this change affect how it feels to shoot the bow? Does this brace height feel better or does this brace height make it worse? and then let your shooting teach you just as much as the research. Remember, the bow is your lab coat, the arrow is your paintbrush, and the target is your... Number five, traditional archery is better than compound. Saying that traditional archery is better than compound is like saying physical mail is better than email. Here's the key, they serve different purposes. Compound bows, just like email, are faster than traditional bows. They are easier to aim and send, but there is something about a handwritten note that an email cannot satisfy. A traditional or compound bow may be better for you, but that doesn't mean it's better for everybody. Number six, I will never know enough. The reason why this lie is so deceptive is because it's true. Until you finish the sentence, I'll never know enough to enjoy archery or be good at it, now that is not true. You'll never know all there is to know. I just started going through an archery course where we spent like an hour on just how to hold the bow and how to grab the string. And that was it, we didn't even pull the bow back or knock an arrow. But you can know enough to enjoy archery and be good at it. Instead of looking at all the information about archery like a mountain that you can't summit, look at it like a mountain range that you can't, oh, what's the word? Look at it like a mountain range that you'll never exhaust in your exploring. Mm, that'll preach. Number seven, archery is too expensive. You're wrong! Right, Caleb? Yeah, oh yeah. You can get into archery with like 
tw with 12 arrows and a tab and an arm guard and a bow and a bowstring for less than $100. If you want to see on video on how to do that, let me know and I will show you. Chances are you have the ability, resources, and tools to build a bow at your house right now for zero or 10 or $15. And if you don't, <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> you all right? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Did you miss the target? Just buy it a hair. <laughs> now archery can be expensive, especially when you own 12 or 47 bows, but it doesn't have to be. Number eight, archery is too intimidating. It takes too much to get into archery. Okay, let's keep it simple. What is archery? It's two sticks and a string. You stick the string on the end of one of the sticks and stick the, the other stick on the mid of the string and pull it back and let it fly and it, until it sticks into something. And that's it. It's simple and a couple of tips to make it less intimidating. Have a really big target and a big backdrop so that there's no fear of missing. Get really close to the target, get an arm guard or put a hoodie on so that the string doesn't slap your wrist. And finally, get off the end. Number nine, archery is dangerous. You'll shoot your eye out. Just remember the next time you get in the, your car that you're 349 times more likely to get in a wreck than to get injured if you were to spend that time shooting your bow. Oh, and the most common injury in archery is an abrasion, wrist slap. Number 10, archery is for the country. This one's tricky because it's a lie and it's true and it's a part lie and it's part truth. First, it's a lie. Archery is also for the city. There are indoor ranges and outdoor ranges in many cities. And so there's plenty of places where you can shoot even if you're not in the country. But it's also true because archery is for the country, the whole country. But it's also a part lie because it's not just for this country, it's also for the whole world. But it's also part truth because don't believe the lies, they're lies. Enjoy the truth, enjoy archery, and stay shatterproof.